it was wrapped into that last uh, sequence. Um, that's, two, that's two teams trying to win a playoff game. Uh, very intense. A lot of calls could have gone either way. Um, you know, they got the benefit of the doubt on some of the calls. We got the benefit of the doubt on a couple calls. Um, but you just saw two two teams competing. You know, we talk about this in season tournament and it's a playoff game. And it was fun game to play in. The intensity level was there. So job well done to the NBA adding this type of excitement in November because uh it'd be some dark days in November. But you get games like this, you can appreciate them. So it's great. And then, you know, they had guys make plays on the stretch. We had guys make plays. Came out on top. On the tap, I mean, there was a lot of confusion because I missed the exit goal telling you after they initially credited you with the tap back down. It looks like Steph is getting the game winner. But just, you were down there in the mix and, and obviously arguing with what was going on. What's your perspective? On? Uh, my perspective was that my hand touched the rim. Uh, Cause I was going, I was going. To, it looked like the ball was about to pop out, so I was going to uh, get a putback. And when I jumped to get the putback, Giddy like went back into my leg, so it kind of brought my hand down and hit the rim. But hitting the rim is not a goal ten, so I didn't affect the shot, and we won. I also saw Giddy had pulled the net as well, you know. So uh, there was some confusion on, and. Um, um, Shea has said if he touched the net and it didn't affect the ball, it's not a goal ten. And she said if uh, if if I touched the rim and I didn't affect the ball, it wasn't a goal ten. I knew I didn't affect the ball, so I thought it was good. And we got got the bucket. Dario was saying that during the review, maybe not for you, but it was emotional in the huddle. Just okay, wait, no, we're feeling good. Or we know is it going to go the other way? I mean, what was it? Like what you knew in your head, I didn't affect the shot. Uh, I mean, you, you're kind of just really at the mercy of the referees, though, because I didn't believe I affected the shot, but I also didn't believe I, I was a blocking foul either. Um, I, so, you know, you're, you're kind of at the mercy of the refs and whatever call they decide to make. Um, and, you know, they decided that it was a no call. So take it. Uh, I mean, it's very important. You know, we we struggled a lot last year to close out tight games. So to you know have our first two tests, you know, in, in tight games, thought it was really big for us to come out with two wins. And tonight, especially, like we were, we didn't have any energy, um, and those guys were kind of getting what they want on the offensive end. You know, so we never got stops, and. Um, just to to pull that game out, you know, like I said, it's a playoff game. That's a win, and that's that's a mark in the win column. No matter how you got it, uh, we got it done. But yeah, I thought our energy wasn't there. Um, that could have been a lot better. I also think our young fellas not being here, uh, Trace and and BP and Lester, the energy that they bring to this team, we miss that. And you know, so next. Uh, Next time we have an in-season tournament game, we need those guys here because they bring a lot of juice for us. And, and, you know, you always talk about young guys bringing energy. That's their job. And we don't have to tell those young guys to bring energy. They do it every single day. So I wasn't overly shocked that our energy wasn't there because they are the guys that lift our, our energy level, and, and they weren't here. So we got to do a better job of that. But overall, you know, give this team a lot of credit. We stuck with it and, and pulled the win out. For one thousand percent, absolutely, we need them here. They're, they're they're a big part of the fabric of this team. So we miss them tonight. Uh, what's your the defense out of the night to work the defense? Obviously, game one thirty nine. You're the defense captain. Where where do you think this team's at? Defensively? I think we're a really good defensive team, and we had an awful defensive night. Um, you know, we didn't do a good job of getting into the ball. It was too much indecision. Indecision leads to lack of communication, and lack of communication leads to defensive breakdowns. We had defensive breakdowns all night. And um, <clears throat> we can't do that. Uh, like I said, lucky to escape with a win, but we have to be better defensively. I'm not worried about it. You know, you're going to lay an egg every now and then, so that's our one. Sunday, we got to come back with a much defensive effort and a much better defensive effort, and I have no doubt that we will. 
Uh, well, number one, the way he stretches the floor, um, I think is absolutely amazing, you know, and teams want to continue to guard him like that. You know, we encourage him to keep taking as many shots as he can. Um, I also think he brings a certain level of physicality, uh, you know, um, and then also a s very smart player. You know, when you add smart guys to the floor, uh, like Dario, uh, him and Chris out there are dicing teams up. You know, J.K., Moses, G, that second unit has been dicing teams up and winning games for us. And so uh, Dario has been huge for us, and it was the reason, you know, he was – our number one target in free agency. You know, we're talking to Mike Dunleavy, and Mike's like, yo, Dario's our number one target. We need to get Dario. And we, we went all in. And for, for us to have him here, we knew how much he'd helped his team. Uh, the chemistry that him and C has is great. And, you know, he'll continue to help us as we go. And, you know, his opportunities will continue to grow and grow. I mean, I didn't even pay them any attention today. Um, but yeah, you know, this this crowd tends to go at me quite a bit. But we usually win, so oh, it's fine. But this is a great crowd, honestly. I love coming to play here. Um, crowd brings it every single I don't think I've ever been to a game here and the crowd wasn't in it. They bring it every single night. And so it's, it's always a fun place to come play. And then you got a young team. I think uh, Sam has done a great job with, you know, finding the right young guys. And that's a really good young team that's starting to make their mark in this league. Chet. Chet's a, a problem. Um, he can play. He can dribble the ball. He can shoot the ball. Has great length, a great shot blocker. He's only going to get better, you know. And for a young guy like that to have the feel that he has, um, you don't see many mistakes out of him. And I thought that was big. You know, you, you, you also, you know, him having last year and being out, but yet being able to be around it, it shows. You know, he, he does, he's not making the typical mistakes that a rookie would make. And so I think, um, you know, the sky's the limit for Chet. Uh, you know, we've watched him for years leading up to him coming to the NBA and always like, yo, this kid has a chance. And now we saw it tonight. You know, he's going to be a problem for a long time in this league. Uh, crazy finishes you've seen. Uh, you know. uh, yes, yes, probably one of the craziest thing in the end. You know how the every possession, you know, the the motions was switching. You know what I mean? Like sometimes okay, we good. Sometimes uh, maybe not. You know, but obviously, you know, it was a team win. You know, we play hard through the whole game, and uh, you know, sometimes you need to be. A little bit lucky. Sometimes you need to make a right play in the right time, and I think that was crucial today. You know, our experience. You know, and make the right play in the right time. So, you know, it was a good team win. How good did your shot feel? Uh, I'm feeling good. You know, I hope I'm gonna continue doing like this. You know, sometimes you're gonna have up and downs, but you know, try to keep as best as I can percentage wise and you know on the court too so you know no hesitating shots try to be you know shoot the best I can. If all the Warriors have you know historically used you know, stretch bags and mix uh -huh. you know, shoot the ball well. I mean was that something you were really confident with that coming in? Uh Yes, yes, you know, I think I'm, I was more confident in coming with a team who knows how to play, you know, high IQ level team, you know, everybody know their own role, you know, and I was, you know, watching during the, this summer some, some Golden State games, you know, how I can find my fit in, you know, and obviously, you know, have that kind of like chemistry with, uh, with uh, Chris, Chris, you know, playing together in a sense, you know, I kind of find myself in and... You know, I hope I'm gonna continue doing like that. You know, but it's very fun when you're playing a team who is winning all the time. Very fun when you play a team who is sharing ball all the time. So I hope we're gonna continue doing like this. You played here last year mm -hmm. for, for a few months. I'm just curious your perspective on you know that group. They seem to be on the rise. Yeah, for sure. You know, they are a very talented group of people. You know, I think. You know, when you have individually, they are like amazing basketball players, amazing talents. And, uh, you know, they try to figure out how to play team basketball. And I think they are doing 
pretty much good this year. And, uh, you know, I think they, they're going to be great for so many years. You know, sometimes, you, sometimes they need to figure out how to play all these guys in, in a certain time. It's going to be tough, but obviously, you know, great team, great talent. I think it's a great future in front of them, you know. Very good group of guys there, so you know, and winning mentality. They have winning mentality too, so it's been it's gonna be fun watching them in the, down the road. Is that it? Great. Yeah. Thank you.